what's going on guys it's your boy sister here with a video here today bringing us a one minute banner design uh tutorial or background design regardless look, look just look it's right here the title is like right here don't know the title is just yet but it's gonna be something around like fun little abstract circles you can see like abstract circles spiralish kind of effect it's super clean super dope and super super freaking easy to do and you're just gonna be able to show off to your friends all that good stuff so i'm gonna jump right into this video here today and uh of course you can send if i likes on that video because it's secret down below as always and if you're new here please subscribe all that good stuff bell notifications all that i don't really say that very often but just say that just just do it okay so yeah let's jump right into this video and uh, let's just do it all right guys so let's go ahead and get this thing going here today i'm i'm going for like a sub 11 minutes tutorial here just saying because you guys keep talking about it's one minute banners on it's not one minute no nope. shit uh anyway so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm just gonna hide this and make uh color schemes up here right here as you can see if you guys want to up here right here i want to see the actual hex codes uh i'll go ahead and show you guys these right the blue then you have the green and then you have the orange, very simple little hex codes there. If you guys want to copy them, use those as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm just basically using blue, green, and orange for my colors with a purple background. The purple background being this color right here, right? Uh, this hex code. So if you guys want to copy those exact same colors, that's what I'm going to be using in today's video. I just found those colors give me the best results for me personally. Um, of course, if you want to go with a certain color scheme, please go ahead and do so. But let's just get this thing going. So it is as simple as making a new layer, okay? You're going to take a brush and you're going to use a 100% hardness brush and your brush size is going to, of course, vary. You want at least like three to four um, sizes of each color in the in the brush, right? So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of click with the blue and kind of go around a few times, right, with different sizes. Literally like making like a polka dot kind of background that you would see on like some crappy tech company kind of thing. Um, so we're going to go ahead and use green now, right? We're going to use different shapes. I'm going to do a really, really big one. Make sure you, of course, get around the middle, right? If you got to make a smaller one, do so. Boom. Right? Okay, now let's go with orange, like a nice big one right here, right here, right, cool, right, and you also want to make sure that all the circles, at, at least for this moment right here, is uh, of course in the canvas, not like outside where it's like half a circle, it's kind of weird, I don't know if that really works or translates well, but I just kind of want to keep it all in the same vicinity, and you can see here we have all three colors, different varies of different sizes, and now we can continue this thing, so... I'm going to go ahead and take my new layer with all these little, uh, new dots, by the way. So this dot right here, that's just for the color scheme, by the way. Um, right? So I'm going to take this layer. I'm going to hold Control and select the background layer as well. And I'm going to use Control j to make a duplicate. And then Control e to merge it together. So Control j at first to make a duplicate. For some reason, it's taking a long time. Help me, please. All right, that took way too long for no reason whatsoever. It might just be like a little hiccup. Anyway, so once you have, of course, you duplicate them, merge them together with Control E. So once again, once you duplicate them, you press Control E, merge it together, right? Go to Filter, Blur, and this is the main tool we're going to be using in today's video. It's going to be Radial Blur. So the settings goes as follows, right? Of course, I'm going to be using Spin, not Zoom, and I'm going to be using Quality Best. This just gives us the best quality when it, when it comes to the blur itself. And I'm going to take my uh, amount and put it at about 25% or 25 amount and you press OK right and you're first gonna see it's gonna do a nice little spiral it's gonna be of course in a perfect circle and you can start seeing what's gonna be happening here now if you want to say to yourself you want to do it one more additional time besides doing it go to filter blur etc etc again you just do the little quick little command here alt control and F so alt control F right and it will apply that radial blur once again and it'll give you guys a little bit more of a smoother kind of look and something like this looks pretty good so i'm gonna do this one more time literally just gonna take my brush again go with the orange around a few times right and spots that you think it's needed right you take your green be like hey i want a green right here because why not green here green here and i'll say i want a blue here here i'm not thinking about it too much so don't i wouldn't say to think about it as, as well right so i'm gonna take this now <clears throat> that was a voice crack <laughs> take this um control j of course once again i'm gonna take these two layers which is the first one we just did and then of course the new one that we just did as well you control click on those two to of course have them both selected control j then control e to merge it together again then filter blur radio blur 25 percent and we're just going to do this one more time by holding the uh, Control Alt and F button once again, just like so, to give ourselves a, a, a better of a, a better look. And I think this is pretty good right here. I'm not I'm not disappointed in this. So once you guys get around here, you guys want to go ahead now and go to Filter, Filter Gallery, and we're going to be going back to Plastic Wrap. So with Plastic Wrap, right, this is going to give us uh, I guess accentuate uh, accentuate. What is the word? What is it called when you like extend? Is it in such accentuate? I try so hard, by the way, words hurt. Anyway, so plastic wrap, we're gonna be using highlight uh, strength, right? We're gonna put, take our detail. I need to know if we want 
yeah, like 14 smooth. Okay, so I would say around these effects is pretty good. 15, 8, 14, it varies. Once again, it's, you just want a nice clean look to it. You definitely don't want it to look something like, how do you say, like this. Oops, let me scroll it down a little bit. Not something like that's a little bit too much here, right? Highlight strength, you want to be able to, of course, see these. And just, I'm going to I'm go ahead and say I'm okay with this. So I'm going to press OK, right? Now we have our filter gallery uh, applied. Now I'm going to go ahead to go to filter, that was not English, blur, and then radio blur, right? Amount 25, spin, best once again, and you press OK. And now, of course, this is all in one layer already, so you don't have to really worry about uh, merging everything together. So once you have something like this, I would say this is pretty clean. I'm going to do it one more time. So control alt f will apply the radio uh, blur again, and we're going to get a more of a smoother look to it. And I'm not disappointed in this. Sweet. So now I'm going to go with the gradient. For the gradient itself, I'm going to have to grab the one I had before because I don't actually have it on me. So one second. All right. So I got the gradient. So the reason why it's so weird and how specific this gradient is, I will give this to you guys. It'll be in the description down below uh, just so you guys know. Right. I'm going to hold just double click on this or go here. Right. And go to the gradient editor. So this gradient is super specific. And uh, I guess reasons between we have to really work with our highlights and our shadows. It took me a very long time to get a gradient close enough to this. So I'll show you how, of course, go about it. Right. All right, either I was trolling or I was super bored. No idea why I explained why I use this gradient whatsoever. Uh, the gradient is down below, and the first color is literally the color you gotta change if you wanna change your color. That's that's really it. Okay. Press OK, right? And I'm gonna turn this on. You guys, you get something like this. So, this is definitely what you wanna have. Uh, if you wanna go ahead and go back into it, and if you wanna get more yellow, or excuse me, more whites, you just move this midpoint over towards the left hand side. I would suggest you maybe to do that, definitely to see which one you like better. I think moving it over to the left for me does work out, or if it's too much white for any reason, just move it over towards the right hand side, right? This is towards the left, I mean, and then if you wanna move it more less white, of course, move it towards the left hand side, or excuse me, right hand. You guys got it, there's no way. English is hard, press okay, you guys got that. So. Sweet. So once you guys have this, I will then take these layers once again. So the gradient layer and the gradient uh, layer below it. Take those two, select them, control J, and then control E to merge it together. Right? And we're going to go to filter, blur, and you guys guessed it. Uh, filter, blur, radio blur. There it is. 25%. Uh, I'm actually going to put it to 30 amount this time. Spin, best, press OK. And you'll see, right, once you kind of let it go. There we go. It's It looks... Pretty good so far. We're going to do this one more time, though. Control-Alt-F, uh, right, to do the quick little radio blur again. And I like that. I do like that a lot, and I'm actually I'm a pretty good fan of it. Okay, so once you guys get to here, I would suggest you guys to right-click on that gradient layer copy, which is everything combined together, and use Convert to Smart Object, right? I'm going to go to Filter, uh, Filter, not Filter Gallery, Camera Filter Raw, and immediately, we're going to be pressing this Y here. It gives us a before and after. And I'm going to take this clarity and put this pretty much all the way up to 100%. Okay? Once I have that, I'm going to take my vibrance and move this up as well, about maybe like 60%. Contrast, move it up a little bit. Your shadows, you want to move it up a little bit. That'll bring a lot of those highlights through, right? Your whites, you want to move up a little bit. Not too much because you don't want the red to be a little bit, like, I guess, noisy. Um, you want to take your blacks. You want to take them out just a little bit as well. Right, this is all very personal preference when it comes to how, of course, your pattern came out. It's always going to be different. It's not going to be always the same. Um, I would also suggest you guys, right, to go ahead and like zoom in and put your sharpen pretty much as high as it could be. It'll give that more of a metal texture. Now, take your noise, however, and your luminance, and you want to put this all the way up until you start seeing a more of a smoothing look to it. Not too smooth, but just smooth enough to be like, okay, that's that. You don't get this weird like patterny kind of effect. I don't know if you can see it on the the video render, but you can definitely see it when you guys are in Photoshop yourselves. And once you guys find that out, you can then go ahead and go to your hue, uh, hue saturation, and luminance adjustments, okay? And you go to hue, and if you want to move your orange around, you can get a different color, right? You move it around, be like, that's pretty good. You can move this top one around, that's pretty nice, right? Then you can press OK. And then you got yourself like a nice, cool look and uh, effect to it. So you can see already, if you, you can see that like my, how do you say, my white little spots around here, not as like vivid as I would personally like them to be. So of course, this would be me restarting it and doing it again when it comes to the patterns. Maybe I blur it a little more or blur it a little less or move my dots around a little bit more. It all depends on what you guys did in the beginning, right? So I'm just so you guys know, it's never gonna come out perfect the first time. Mine took like a lot of attempts, but each attempt was pretty cool. I just wanted something different, right? So. I actually go ahead and go to filter filter gallery and I'll throw on a plastic wrap again but this time I'm going to do less detail a little less highlight right I want to press okay then with this I'm going to go ahead actually 
Oh, I should do this on a new layer, actually. So control J, right? And go to filter, filter gallery. Add, apply that uh, gradient wrap. Oops, jeez, that plastic wrap, there we go. Right, then I'm gonna take this layer, throw on a layer mask. I'm gonna take my brush. I'm just gonna erase around the spots that I don't want it to show up too much. But I want it to basically def definitely be here, definitely be here, I'll put more highlights over here. Uh, and I'll say like, that looks pretty good. Then I'm gonna take these two layers, of course, combine them, right? Control J, Control E. Okay, and once I've done this, we're gonna go to filter, blur, radio blur, 30% spin best and you do it apply it it'll give a nice little smoother look to it that looks really good so you can see if you want to add a little more you definitely can it's not too difficult so at this point if you guys are saying I'm, I'm done with it I want to mess around it too much or you restart you get what you want regardless you want to go ahead right I'm gonna hide all these other layers below it because it doesn't matter right now then we're gonna take a uh, ellipse tool right click in the middle if you don't know what the middle is you can put some rulers in press ctrl r you just simply take the ruler you move it towards where you believe the middle is and you'll see you'll feel this little snap you see how it's like snapping almost a full centimeter each time that's how you know where the middles are so you do that for the horizontal and the vertical lines right so you click around where the middle is okay you put your crosshair there you hold alt and shift when you click with the ellipse and then you kind of go right to about However much you want. You definitely don't want to make your circle bigger than the canvas. Make sure it's in the canvas. And once you've done that, you can press delete right on this layer right here. Just like so. Then you get this. Okay. Then all you have to do is alt. While holding alt, you drag this layer right below it. It'll make a duplicate of that layer right below it. Okay. Then control T. Hold the uh, hold alt while holding the corner. And you want to just move it down all the way until you don't see, of course, that little like uh, spot where you can see the cutoff. So right about here. So then, what you have to do is just literally hold Alt, drag it below again, and then the quick shortcut to not, of course, do it, uh, how do you say, uh, another shrink it yourself kind of thing. You hold Control, Shift, T, and it does it for you once again. So you do that same exact thing, you just rinse and repeat all the way until you get all the way down to a good spot to stop. So you can see how easy it is. I'm holding Alt, dragging it below, Control, Shift, T, Alt, dragging below, Control, Shift, T, and you do this all the way until you get to a good spot to stop. Okay, so this is a pretty good spot to stop. I'm gonna make a new layer, right? I'm gonna take my new layer, and with this new layer right here, I'm just gonna use a ellipse tool really quickly to fill in this circle. And the color I'm gonna choose for the circle fill in will just be like a nice little black right here that we find on the actual canvas, right? Uh, Alt backspace to quick fill. Then you have something like this. Now, to finalize this, I wanna simply make a new layer right below, uh, right above everything, just like so. New layer, right? Find that middle point again. It's kind of important. You can uh, press Control H to hide and unhide your rulers. And I'm gonna go right to where that little sort of like barrelish kind of effect kind of starts, right? And on this new layer, uh, new layer with the ellipse kind of already selected, I went off the canvas a little bit of, as well. It doesn't really matter too much now. But you take a brush, right? You hold Alt and you kind of find a nice black around the actual canvas. I'll say um, uh, that black right here is pretty good, right? I'm gonna take this now and make a pretty good sized brush and kind of like use it, use like the uh, the, the very edge of the brush to actually go ahead and kind of fill in this nice little black, right? And then get yourself a nice look to it right there. Now, if you want to do it again, I suggest you guys, of course, use the ellipse tool, find the middle, make it as big as you guys would wish to on a new layer, same black, and just do it again. This time I'm gonna go on this side over here and I'll do this side down here, right? And I think you get yourself a pretty freaking cool look and finalize, I'm just gonna put in the middle my text and the uh, font that I use in probably the one you guys saw in the beginning of the video was in uh, fit Infinite Justice, right? 100, not 1,000, right? And you want to just put this nice little white right in the middle. And you guys got yourself a pretty freaking cool design. And at this point in time, of course, you can go back into your camera, filter raw, use more clarity, find more highlights, all that good stuff. I did not get sub 11 minutes. I apologize, but regardless, I just went through everything. I think you guys should, of course, know. And I hope you guys do enjoy today's video today. Uh, so, of course, uh, 275 likes on the video. You can see down below, as always, guys. I appreciate you guys so very much for watching all that good stuff. I will talk to you guys later. Senso HQ out. Don't forget to keep smiling. Stay positive and stay freaking productive, guys. Later. Much love. I just thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoy.